Hello, welcome back to the channel. My name is Eric, y'all know me as Instinct, and today I'm going to be breaking down this sample I made from this upcoming sample pack I got with Scandi. It actually doesn't have a name yet, we just finalized the ones we want to put in there. It's going to be 15 samples, a mix of like dark R&B and more like classic R&B. But this sample I'm going to break down is a pretty dark ambient kind of R&B, something for like the weekend, maybe always never. So yeah, let's get into it. So the goal here is like dark ambience. And the way to achieve that is with minor chords, lots of reverb, lots of width, some sounds that kind of evolve on their own without like the notes changing, whether that's through like a filter that is automated with an LFO or like the sound itself just changes as it goes on, something like that. So what I started with was this pad from a contact bank that I can't pronounce. Um, it's called Olifur Arnold's Toolkit. It's the Bode Waves preset. I don't think I changed anything in there. Pattern for that pad is dead simple. It's just a D minor chord with the third in the bass. So regularly it would be this. Just brought those two down an octave. And then I just had it repeat twice. Sounds like this. And that just repeats. Um, so you can kind of hear that evolution kind of thing I was talking about where the sound changes as it goes on and it also has that width that ambience to it so then I just exported that to audio and reversed it sounds like this and then that just repeats but there's that evolution that I'm gonna talk about a lot in this video probably um, after that I did this bass line using the Discord bass from my recent drum kit that sounds like this. So it just outlines that chord um, with a raised fifth. There's a name for that. I don't remember what it is. Um, but yeah, so it just goes from the root up to the third down to the raised fifth and then in the second half it goes up to the C which is the seventh of the scale which leads right back into the root note which is the D which is the root of the chord it's all it's theory bro but anyway it sounds good that's all that matters this kind of sample I do like to do pitch bends in the bass line after that I just layered up another pad from the same contact bank this one's the celestial pad preset didn't change any of this and this time, for a little variation, I did pitch the F and the A up an octave in the first half, and then they're back down to where they were in the second. So that kind of gives um, some evolution, like I was saying. And it changes it a bit without going too crazy. After that, I went back to that first preset that I talked about for the chords and I just played the raised fifth for four bars and then the fifth for four bars so it has some tension and release with that raised fifth resolving down to the fifth and then second to last I just added this one shot from some one shot kit I actually don't remember which one this is from I actually changed it quite a bit because uh, at first it was kind of a lead and then my version sounds like this so I just turned it into a pluck basically um, I did that by trimming it then I brought down the length and then I brought down the out and then on there I just played this pattern didn't really have any theory in mind but I did want to make it kind of a call and response type thing so that there's this low section and then the second half it raises up low section raises up a bit and that gives kind of a satisfying effect final thing I added was this vocal um, this took me a long time to do, to be honest. I'm not that happy with it, but it does its job, which is just to sit in the background and add kind of another texture to the sample. Yeah. 
All right, now the easy part is effects because I put barely anything on any of these except the vocals. Uh, the sub bass has nothing on it. First pad has nothing on it. Pad chords has nothing on it. That drone tone, which is that raised fifth, resolving to the fifth, nothing on it. The vox, shit ton of stuff on it. Um, and that pluck has just a few things. Um, so let's go over the pluck first. Dry, it sounds like this. Which isn't bad, um, it's just not the kind of dark ambience I wanted. So to get that dark ambience I wanted, I threw a shaper box. Um, didn't use the time, I did use the filter, just one of their presets in the sweep. Brought the mix way down. Another preset on the panning, mix at half. This is just gonna send it left to right, back and forth. Volume, another rhythm pattern, mix brought down again. And the width, just kind of a weird accent pattern with the mix at 100. Top of that, through a delay, quarter note, brought the cut down so that the delays, um, the highs are cut off a bit. Feedback up so that the delay lasts longer. The volume down so that the, each individual delay is quieter. And then I threw the pan to the left so that it bounces left to right on the ping pong. Then a band pass just to cut out the lows and the highs. And then speaking of ambience, I uh, use the ambience plugin, which is a dope reverb. Uh, kind of spreads it out and makes it sound like it's in a different room almost without like muffling the sound. So I brought the time down, pre delay off, width down a little bit. So yeah, like I said before, just uh, delay and reverb go a long way. Don't need to overcomplicate it. Um, also a filter, like I was talking about, does some good. Now for the vocals, which um, I will play dry. Uh, don't judge me. Sounds like this. Working all night like I used to. We never know what I do do. Um, so that was just like freestyling randomly with this playing in the background into Edison. And then I just picked my favorite parts. Um, I auto-tuned the shit out of it. I corrected the time. Then I re-exported it. That's what these are for the effects. Uh, I started with CLA vocals. Sorry, Kenny and Mike Dean. I apologize. But uh, I just used the Start Me Up Dry preset. Brought the mix down to about half. Threw a little Alter Boy on there to bring the formant down and put a little bit of drive on it for a little bit of crunch. Then another instance of Alter Boy with the high octave double preset. Then a fab filter, drop off the lows, boost some highs, and then roll off the extra highs. The default vintage verb preset to drown it out quite a bit. Then I cut out any lows that might have gotten through that first uh, EQ. Then I threw a comeback kid on for some delay, brought the tape swirl and souse up a little bit, turned the ducker up, which means um, when the vocal itself is playing, the delay is quieter, and then afterwards it gets louder, um, so it doesn't muddy itself up. Put it on quarter note delay, brought the high cut up a little bit, so a little more of the highs come through on those delays, and then finally just a band pass. So it's pretty much unintelligible. Um, you can barely even tell it's a vocal but it does add a lot of nice texture and in context, I think it sounds pretty cool. But yeah, that's pretty much all I did to the sample. Um, after I did all this, Scandi added, I think a couple more um, vocal loops and then he also arranged it a lot better than I did. So I'll play the finished version right after this, but uh, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, uh, subscribe, it's free, you can always unsubscribe if you regret it, promise you won't, but if you do, it's always an option. Leave a comment, tell me what kind of tutorial you want next, follow me on Instagram, at prodby underscore instinct, keep in touch with me there, um, I'll be posting updates on the sample pack, as well as some other stuff, you can always DM me there with any questions, but beyond that, appreciate you, thanks for watching, see you next time, peace.